it seems to me that journalists are doing much better job than uh, than uh, tax authorities or politicians. So that's why probably we will have more such scandals. But it's also too fair to say that we are making progress. One of the most important things that were not mentioned by uh, by Mr. Commissioner is that uh, tax authorities have these days access to the data, not only EU data but also uh, uh, global data due to OECD standards. But unfortunately, a lesson about functioning of anti-money laundering systems in Europe doesn't say only that we are not implementing properly agreed directives, but also we are not using sufficiently data. And this is bad news. You know, being from Czech, uh, I cannot avoid taking some lesson of the uh, case of our Prime Minister. If you look at this kind of structure, one can get a reasonable suspicion that put together such a complicated, expensive legal structure must be done for some purpose. So one can argue that behind such a structure, there is very often clear purpose that would be a reduction of taxes through tax avoidance or tax evasion or laundering of the money. So that's why we must fight with this practice. Last not least, let me mention some other issue. Both Council and also European Parliament was voting against banning the EU subsidies to large companies. I guess this is very, very unfortunate. As the consequences, some people can argue that a uh, shuttle of Mr. Babish was partly financed through money of European taxpayers. And this is quite unfortunate. Thank you.